Have you considered now pretty much just blocking your sister's number and just being best mates with them and going for pints with them instead? <laughs> oh yeah, well, well, I blocked my sister's number ages ago. But, uh... Have you had a busy just day a so far? Bit. It has yeah, been, yeah. Like I'm so bad at just wiffle waffle. I oh, just... well, then this is going to be a great interview. Oh, then. great then. <laughs> Whiffle oh, waffle through it. Oh. I don't mind. In See How They Run, you yeah. obviously played Dennis the Usher. It's not, yes. It's not the most glamorous of jobs when you've got Adrian Brody playing a film director and producer, you've got people playing detectives, but I know. look at you now, you've made it big time, bud. I know. Someone's got to be the Usher. Someone's got to be, you know, telling people where to sit. So. Heroic, if anything, I'd say. Do you know what? If I was on the Titanic, I'd be calmly escorting people to, to the lifeboats. I'm actually about to bring in a Pride of Britain award for you right now. Uh, oh, Brilliant. Carol can't make it. But what I want to know is now that you're a big Hollywood star now, what was the worst job you've ever had? The worst job? I, I worked in the sausage factory um, over a really, really hot summer where I was, I had to salt the skins, basically. I mean, it was fascinating <laughs> if you want to know how sausages are made. I don't really care about the film. Let's go, sausages. <laughs> so, basically... I, it's sort of this like, basically I just had to deal with like meters upon meters of like intestine skin, right? Mm. And you put it on this sort of tube and then I had to salt it and then they, anyway, yeah. If you talk to anyone else about <laughs> sausages on this whole junket tour, I will come for you. But you know what? It was such a, I remember that summer so well because Michael Jackson died that summer. And for some reason it's just so, that whole, every time I smell a sausage, I'm taken back to that factory. <laughs> And I think of Michael Jackson. <laughs> I, again, I don't need to ask anything else now. That is it, done. Done. So obviously in this, you've reunited with your this country boy, Charlie. Yeah. At what point during this process did you think, I need to get him on board? Um, to be honest, I was dead against it. Um, <laughs> and uh, But the studio said, look, we really like Charlie and we want you mm. to you know, bring him on board. So my hands were tied. If I had my time over, I wouldn't have put him in the film. Uh, no, it was like a total joy to be able to bring both Charlie Cooper and Paul Chahidi, the vicar from this country, uh, into this amazing ensemble that we were building. Um, you know, it's my first feature and it was so lovely to have two people who I have such a, uh understanding with over performance and tone and comedy. And, you know, we've worked together for so many years. Um, and then to like put them in this cast with um, actors from such diverse kind of backgrounds uh, was, yeah, it was really amazing. Shame about Sam Rockwell, though, having to include him as well. Yeah, you know, definitely, you, punch, you know, by that point, we were desperate. And yeah. We were like, well, after I turned you down yeah. and said, no, I suppose, <laughs> next best thing. You're now in a film with Saoirse Ronan, Sam yeah. Rockwell, Adrian Brody. Have you considered now pretty much just blocking your sister's number and just being best mates with them and going for pints with them instead. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I, mean, I blocked my sister's number ages ago. But, um, oh, my God. I mean, yeah, when I found out who was in the cast, it was just sort of like who's who of like yeah. best actors in the world. So, oh, just incredible. And to be a part of that was just, yeah, you had to pinch yourself, definitely. So can you at any point now just like send Sam Rockwell a meme or something? Are you? Oh, no. <laughs> Don't have his number. No, I think he'd be a bit like, oh, what, that dweeb? No way. Um, so, yeah, no, it's a shame. Didn't probably get a chance to speak to him enough. But, uh, but yeah, maybe next time, if there is a next time. <laughs> now that you've given Charlie this, this huge film to be a part of, Yes. You kind of now owe Daisy May Cooper a movie of her own now, really, don't I you? I mean, she'll definitely see it that way. Yeah, no, I think we all That's do. Like... She actually wrote this question for me. I didn't <laughs> want to write that. But Searchlight might be listening now, so I say we pitch it right now. Right, OK. What do you see this film for? What's her character? What's the plot, the genre? A, da a Daisy May Cooper vehicle. Mm. Um, a, a violent serial killer. Only because I know that that's the kind of part she'd be really excited to play, yeah. I suppose. Um, she's, she's like, obsessed with, like, Eileen Wernos and people like that from uh, you, the um, Nick Broomfield documentary. You sort of, like, um, yeah, I think a part like that would be, would be great for her. So what we're saying, serial killer, would be good for her, in short? 
Yeah, yeah, serial, serial killer would be ideal. I've never met her, never want to now. <laughs> what I'd love to know is, have you and, and Tom introduced the guys to this country? Oh, I mean, yeah, but the great thing, Paul Chahidi was on it as well. He plays the yeah. vicar in this country. So we did have our sort of own little clique, which was a bit sad. But um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of in-jokes, which gets a bit sort of uh, tiresome to everyone else. But... Um, I'm sure. I mean, I don't even know if they saw any of this country. They're probably like, who are these freaks? <laughs> <laughs> so what you've said there is you've made Adrian Brody a third wheel to you and Tom. Yeah, he was a bit annoying, actually. <laughs> Adrian, come on, we're trying to catch up here. I can't wait for that to go everywhere. You calling Adrian Brody annoying. <laughs> Great. <laughs> actually, no, he'll come for me now. <laughs> I want to get from you, mm. what is the ultimate whodunit? Aside from see how they run, I want to give you... Three recent whodunits. Okay. And um, we'll do something like Stong, Marry, Kill. Yeah. But with this, we're going to do remake, yeah. rewatch, and kill off. I didn't have a clever re for the kill off. Burn the negative. Basically. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So out of these three options. Yeah. Knives Out. Yeah. Only Murders in the Building. Or Death on the Nile. I would say remake, Only Murders in the Building, just to work with Steve Martin, obviously. Correct answer. That yeah. would be... Amazing. Rewatch Knives Out and wait, what am I burning? Kill off Death on the Nile. Which is the right Yeah, choice. Death on the Nile, but burn the negative. Yeah. Oh, good good man. I it's don't a, mean that. Funny, I wanna I wanna picture this scene. Me and you are in the cinema together. We're watching see yeah. how they run. The final scene, but on the right of me is Curtain. Yeah. I wanna know how he'd react to that final scene of See How They Run. I'm there with popcorn. What would he say? He'd probably say there's not enough brains being spilled or not enough gore, I reckon. <laughs> he probably likes his gory films, yeah. He's a, he's a sicko, really. He's a he? sicko, yeah. He could take Adrian Brody when he comes for you. Oh, definitely, yeah. Oh, this is trash talk. I'm setting this up. <laughs> when I meet Adrian Brody, I'm getting you two fighting. I mean, I'm up for it. Get, get us to Saudi Arabia, put us in the ring. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be a great fight, although he'd definitely be stronger than me. Thank you yeah. so much, mate, and oh, best of luck in the well with the film and with the fight. More importantly, oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Cheers, you need mate. it. You be my manager. Thank you. Thank I'll, you. Oh yeah, as long as I can make money out of this, I'll do anything. Yeah, in yeah. My, in my corner, I'll wear a U mask and I'll do the fight as long as I can be rich. You're hired. <laughs>